Welcome to the Fost North pre-show. It's been a challenging time with Corona, but thanks to all our sponsors, our amazing speakers and our awesome community, we're turning this into a virtual event. I'm really looking forward to the coming day. And in this show, we will discuss the coming talks. The first session of uh, Wednesday is Chris Simmons talking about Debian or Jocto project, which is the best for your embedded Linux projects. And for someone has, who has been working in embedded Linux, I have been using the Yocto project a lot. So that obviously gets my attention. And then uh, the idea of using uh, Debian instead as a quick start thing, but it's, uh, it's intriguing to me. Yeah, I mean, it's been around for a while and I guess it's, it's I, I've worked with embedded system both with Yocto and what was it called? Was it OBS, this old build server many moons ago, Migo, MyMO? Yes. Uh, so, so going package based, and I mean, that reduced the build time to quite a lot, um, which you ha can do with Yocto, but then you need to set up your caching and so on. So it will be fun to compare these things. And I always perceive it as more complex to package stuff for Debian than it is to package it for Yocto, but that might just be what I'm used to. Mm. I also tried hyping this talk to some colleagues at work who are huge Debian nerds and they were, uh, well, uh, provoked. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope they show up in the, in the question section or at least watch the talk. Yeah, we actually had, um, for the community day, there was a proposal to do one of these workshops uh, with one of our, lo our local sponsors, so the Endian Technologies. But uh, yeah, now Chris has hijacked the topic, so he gets to <laughs> to carry it out. Yep, yep. The the next one is a bit of a one of these showcases on how you can use open source. So it's a, a guy called Victor Peterson who will talk about Screenly OSE, uh, which is a digital signage product. Um, so so basically, TV screens showing information or advertisements and so on. Um, and as I understand it, he will share his experience from building a project or a product out of open source components. So a bit like the talks we had today from uh, from the Swedish television and to some extent from Arbets Fumerling as well. It would be interesting to hear how, how, I mean, the experience of how things, where, when do things start gaining traction and how does it, how does it grow and does it explode at some point and so on. That's, and also what the benefits are. Do you, do you save money or do you save time? Or well, I, I think uh, the, uh, the robotic people today talked about gaining quality, actually, which, which is a good other factor that comes into the picture. Yeah, I mean, getting contributors is, of course, makes things easier. Yeah. When I first read the word signage, I, I thought about the guy called Pickington, if you remember him from the Ricky Vay shows. Yeah. He always had it. <laughs> itch to every every word so uh, so signage i thought there was a called Pil pilkington project first but scratch your own itch as we say yeah <laughs> <laughs> itch, itch, itch. No. okay um next one next one is actually one of our lightning talk speakers drew fustini um he very briefly touched on Risk Five or Risk V uh, last Sunday, and and now he will tell us how to run Linux on it. So, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, he had some good comments around the the real deep dive into the Linux kernel that we had this uh, Sunday with uh, Ron Munitz. So hopefully it'll be good and and technical deep dive into the innards of FPGAs, custom CPUs, and Linux. Cool. Yeah, and I mean, it's um, it was a nice talk, the lightning talk, but going deeper and getting into the details would be uh, interesting for sure, because especially since Risk Five is still relatively new and, well, not emerging, but yeah. Yeah, and you need an hour for a topic like this because it's yeah. the devil's in the details, definitely. The devils or the devils? <laughs> The details of the details. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, next topic is kind of interesting. It, I'm a bit two-faced here because 
as a formerly I've been a teacher uh, and it's important to to document everything properly and write good doc documentation educational material but at the same time I, I've been a developer for for so many years and documentation has not always been like top prior for me so this is going to be interesting and I, I like the aspect of the documentation part of, of growing a community. And to me, it's not about writing a lot of documentation, but writing the right documentation. So I really hope that he will focus on, on what type of mm. documentation is important. There's been so many times when you want to use some kind of uh, open source library or something that is available on GitHub. And the only thing you get is a readme that tells you how to build the library maybe. And it's, I mean, I, it's it's hard to be mad at someone who still puts it out there but it's still like <laughs> without knowing how to use this no one is going to use it well perhaps they like getting email how do i use this <laughs> yeah yeah I've, I've been i'm in current in a discussion with a project that uh, i would say have poorly documented ways of extending the uh, project so, yeah, so I'm, I'm writing that email that you just mentioned. <laughs> okay, next one is about licenses. I figure I'm going to be interested in, in that one. Uh, I don't know anything about the software. I don't know that much. Uh, so it's going to be interesting for me. I mean, we had a bunch of, uh, of license talk this morning, uh, and, and this is on the, on the same topic, so to speak. Um, I, I, I know that you like when people use the word risk around open source, um, <laughs> but he also uses the word growth. So I have a high yeah. hopes for a good talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, we, uh, I, I don't like the word risk because it points the focus on, on the wrong thing. So uh, I always think when I hear the word risk, why do you even bother using open source if, you, if you're not, if you're only seeing the risks? Um, but for me, I, I, I've been using the uh, free and open source software tools to uh, manage compliance. So it's going to be interesting for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, licenses are, are the core to, to, to the whole movement. So it's good to get a good insight there and to, to really understand what it's about. Yeah, and, and then we have the last section where without my name on it that I will do. It will be the talk, shortest talk of them all, <laughs> the closing words. And, and then Post North for 2020 is over. Um, finally. Finally, yeah. just as this show, finally. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Yeah. See you. <laughs>